So as you guys could probably tell from my review video, I am really, really impressed with that uh, Rode Video Micro. And uh, what I'm off to do right now is I'm heading to my local big box home improvement store. I've got a couple of ideas and I want to see if either of them pan out. So uh, stick around for this one. I think you guys might enjoy it. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this place. Every time I go in there, every single time, I feel like I'm lost. I just meander around and I know that they're <laughs> lost prevention guys are like, Jesus Christ, what is this guy doing? Is he trying to buy something or is he walking a marathon? Not to mention while I'm in there, I literally, this is no joke, I tripped three times. And then while I'm walking all this stuff out uh, to, the, to the trailer, I slam the cart directly into my foot. Yeah, raked up the skin pretty good. Sometimes I wonder if I'm not a walking cluster. Oh. So yeah, I got myself pretty good. So now I'm in Tarjay buying something for my girlfriend. I'm getting her one of these big comfy, like fleecy chairs or whatever, so that when I'm working in my office, she can sit there and enjoy my lovely company without having to sit on a trunk. Okay, so I made it back, all good. Um, not only did I pick up some stuff for their Rode uh, Video Micro, but I also picked up a couple of other things uh, for a new project, a different project. So I went there for one thing and I ended up coming out with a whole lot more. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically show you what we're working with. Okay, so generally you take your Rode Micro and you put it in a shock mount or whatever. This is the one that uh, Rode provides. Uh, for you, uh, but I went and I just picked up this simple ABS plastic tubing and I also borrowed this uh, microphone foam off another mic that I already had and we're going to use these items to create an interview style microphone with this. Again, I don't know why, but I feel like it's necessary that I reiterate the fact that this microphone is so good. Uh, for vocal pickup and it does such a wonderful job at off-axis sound rejection um, that I think that this could be an absolute amazing uh, little interview microphone especially for those of you that like to do the trade shows like WPPI or CES or Comic-Con or whatever this is an extremely cheap and affordable option now I know that they don't make anything like this yet uh, but I think that they might after a few people start sharing this around the internets Okay, so the first step in my process is I want to cut uh, the PVC or the ABS plastic pipe off at about 12 inches or so. That'll be the basis uh, for the handle. So if you've got enough to hold here, uh, that would leave about two and a half inches roughly in order to put a, uh, a flag up uh, like most news stations. So if, if that's if you wanted it, you don't have to have it that way. Uh, and if you don't, you could probably leave off about two and a half, maybe even three inches total if you wanted to make the uh, the mic handle just a bit sm uh, a bit shorter. All right, so shit just got real, and I've decided to make mine a bit shorter than a full foot. Um, don't really think I want it to be that long. So I'm making mine about uh, nine inches or so. And that should... I think that'll do it. Well, that's all kind of demolished it here on the end, so I'm going to have to do some sanding to get it straight first. Whew. Okay, so I just went on and cut another one, and you can see that this one, uh, this edge turned out a lot better, so I think I'm just going to use this one instead. And uh, this one could be salvaged. It would just have to be uh, ground down a little bit with a, with a file or something, but yeah, I, yeah, I could totally use this uh, as a secondary or a backup. Uh, now that I got the, the bottom pretty well ground down, uh, I'm going to put a cap on it. So I'll cap it here at the end, and now I've got to drill a hole in this end so that I can run this cable down in there through it. Okay, so we got it done. I got the plug stuck in. I got the hole drilled. It is perfect. I, it actually went a lot smoother than I was anticipating it to go. So now you can run your cable in through your hole 
and then up to the microphone. Okay, so I uh, got the pipe here and I basically just got a pair of snips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a four-way cut here, 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 and here. And I'm just gonna use uh, the, the friction, the pressure to create uh, what I need in order to hold the microphone in place. All right, I'm gonna do that three more times and then I should at least have a proof of concept. Here's the microphone. Now, because this has a really, really, really nice finish on it, it's all metal, I am not worried about uh, this tearing it up or scratching it or, or whatever. It, it might scuff it a bit, but realistically, I mean, this is, it's so good and it's so cheap. You know, it's just, it's, it doesn't matter. I mean, it is amazing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push it in, give it, just kind of snug it down. And there you have it. Um, now all I need to do is, of course, just uh, thread the wire down uh, into the, uh, the tube and out the bottom. And we should have ourselves a regular uh, interview style microphone. Oh yeah, and we also need to add the foam to it. That'll make it look pro. Okay, so here we are. I've actually got this microphone hooked up to the transmitter portion of the Rode Filmmaker kit. I've got the transmitter sitting on top of the B-Script Pro. Uh, and it's directly connected to my iPhone 6s plus so Here's the microphone with the cable sticking out the butt the foam up top and uh, You can actually use this thing. It's it's crazy how uh, cheap and effective this generally can be And like I said the off-axis sound See, I mean I, you, it really does help project uh, sound from the, the, the sides. So if you were doing an interview in an extremely crowded place like WPPI or CES and you went to actually interview the person that you wanted to talk to, you could reject the vast majority of side uh, address noise. So people next to you, the everyone in that place could effectively be drowned out and you could focus solely on the person that you're wanting to talk to. Like I said, the thing is only $59. Uh, this little piece of tubing, I believe, was around $3. I think the cap was around $0.66. Cents. And, of course, I had this cable laying around. It's just a, an auxiliary cable that most people keep in their cars to uh, hook up their phones to their radio systems so that they can, um, you know, play streaming music or whatever. And one more thing. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but now that you've got it in this tube or whatever, you can now use it in a standard uh, shock mount and use it as a traditional boom mic as well. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, DIY project. So at any rate, if you have any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. As always, thanks for stopping here at the Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Warren Puckett, and I'll see you guys again on the next one.